Lil Tam arrested facing life in prison, caught on camera. Timothy Leakes, aka Lil Tim, rose to immense infamy following his alleged assassination of Chicago rapper King Vaughn. Since the death of Vaughn, Lil Tim has been in and out of prison on numerous charges, and it seems as though he may be locked away for good as he faces the potential of life in prison. Thanks for joining us on Lime Report. Before we jump into this video, be sure to comment keyword leaks for a chance of winning our giveaway, and subscribe for more videos. Known by his stage name, Lil Tim, Timothy Leakes is a rapper more famous for his alleged murder of King Vaughn rather than any of his own accolades. Lil Tim is good friends with fellow Georgia rapper and never broke again signee Quando Rondo and was with him on the fateful night that he got into it with Chicago rapper King Vaughn. According to multiple accounts, Timothy was the one responsible for firing the gun during the altercation and taking King Vaughn's life. On November 6, 2020, Lil Tim, Quando Rondo, and others were hanging out at a Monica Hookah Lounge in downtown Atlanta. Sometime around 3 a.m., Rondo and his entourage bumped into King Vaughn and his crew when King Vaughn suddenly started swinging at Quando Rondo, instigating a huge fight between the two sides. As the fight spilled outside the club, Lil Tim responded to Vaughn's assault by pulling out a gun and immediately firing at the OTF rapper, leaving him dead and several others injured. According to our sources, King Vaughn was beefing with Quando Rondo at the time due to his affiliation with Louisiana rapper Youngboy Never Broke Again. Vaughn and Youngboy had been going back and forth for some time after King Vaughn openly questioned Youngboy's street crowd and was then seen hanging out with the latter's baby mama. Since then, things have gotten pretty ugly between the Only the Family crew and Never Broke Again crew, and some believing that an all-out war could break out between the two. With that bitter history fresh in his mind, King Vaughn immediately jumped on the chance to take out one of Youngboy's right-hand men in Quan Rondo. However, Things didn't go exactly as Vaughn had planned, and Chicago unfortunately lost another young star as a result. Since then, Lil Tim and Quando Rondo have become two of the most hated men in hip-hop. Despite the fact that neither Lil Tim or Quando Rondo started the fight, nor did they break any of the street codes, they have still been essentially ostracized from the community. Seeing as how King Vaughn was one of the most beloved up-and-coming stars, though, it makes sense. King Von was highly respected in the rap community, and he was also plugged up with some of the biggest names in the game today. Thanks to his connections, his death has left Quando Rondo and Lil Tim struggling to make it in the game. The following day after the shooting, Lil Tim was arrested and charged with murder. He also suffered a gunshot during the altercation and wound up spending two weeks in the hospital recovering in Grady Hospital in Atlanta. After his arrest, Lil Tim spent a month behind bars before being released on a $100,000 bail in late March. Since then, the young man has been out on bail but has somehow still found his way into trouble. Shortly after being released, Lil Tim announced he would be making his debut as a rapper with his first single, Off The List. Since the death of King Vaughn, Quando Rondo's career has been suffering heavily, but that hasn't stopped Lil Tim from leaning into his new infamy. In a music video for his new song, Tim doesn't mention Vaughn by name but the song definitely points to the events. To make matters worse, Lil Tim can be seen in the video rapping with a shovel in his hand. Lil Tim has definitely gotten a boost in popularity from his new infamy, but it seems that things may be going to his head as well as he's not staying out of trouble while on bail. According to a post by DJ Academix, Lil Tim was arrested in Georgia following a high-speed police chase. According to the Chatham County Jail's bookings records, Leakes was arrested last week for speeding blowing a stop sign illegally turning left at an intersection, following another car too closely, driving on the wrong side of the road, reckless driving, obstruction, fleeing police, and more. His bond was not listed on his file and is likely that it hasn't been seen yet. With so much already hanging over him, it's hard to imagine that Lil Tim would be so reckless and yet it doesn't seem like he has a care in the world lately. Lil Tim isn't really known as a rapper. And yet, since November of last year, his name has seemingly been in everyone's mouth for nearly a year. Timothy's notoriety stems from the relationships he's been able to build rather than anything he's done on his own. The young man from Savannah, Georgia has been hanging around some of the fastest growing names such as NBA Youngboy and his signee Quando Rondo and has been exposed to fame as a result. Although Lil Tim hasn't been able to create much of a buzz around his music just yet, his name is well known around the community at this point thanks to his infamous deed. But despite his quick rise to fame, or rather infamy, Lil Tim will have to be careful he doesn't act too reckless lest he suffer the same fate as his own victim. Thanks for watching Lime Report.
Don't forget to comment keyword leaks for a chance of winning our giveaway and subscribe for more videos.